They don't have a chair for Skeletor? <laughs> what kind of a cheap place is this? Thank you. Quite welcome. Obviously a gentleman, which I certainly am not. Okay, so I'm here to answer your questions, either truthfully or lying. So um, let's start. Who has a Q that I can give an A to? The best way to probably do this is to have everybody come form a line, if y'all don't mind. Um, <clears throat> that can work. Oh, here we go. First question. Who's got a line, right? Yes, Rob. <laughs> well, thank you, Alan. Yes. yes. Never so, met him in my life until two minutes ago. <laughs> but yes. we have the same hairline, you see. Yes. So, <laughs> um, You were on Six Million Dollar Man from the uh, the first movie after the pilot to the bionic criminal, which was that's your last correct. appearance. That's correct. And then, she died under my knife. Yes, you killed Jamie Summers. That's, that's true. right. That's right. And uh, then Martin E. Brooks took over the role. And I've never heard the story of why you didn't continue and uh, Martin Brooks uh, took over the role. Money. You were of the three Money. Rudy's. Money. My favorite. Money. They didn't want to pay me. They didn't Money. want to pay you what you wanted. Simple. That, <laughs> they weren't offering six million. No. <laughs> <laughs> cool, thank you. That's really what it was all about, negotiation. Yes. All um, right, cool. That's what I wanted to know. And oddly enough, uh, off-Broadway, um, um, what, what was the name of the play? Um, Marty had done um, uh, the play that became Cabaret. What the heck was the name of it? Uh, anyway, and then uh, it was done, uh, he did on Broadway, and I did it off-Broadway. So I replaced him, and years later he replaced me in The Six Million Dollar Man. 